Hello, in this video we're going to solve for the monopolis output and the socially optimal output and compare the two. So we'll start with the monopoly. Um, and this monopolis has an inverse demand given by price equals 400 minus 0.05q. This firm has a marginal cost that is constant at $20, MC equals 20. We want to solve for the monopolist output and compare that to the socially optimal output level. So monopolist output occurs where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. We're going to solve for total revenue, which is price times quantity, in order to get marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is the derivative of total revenue. It is the slope function of total revenue. It gives us an increase in revenue from producing one more unit of output. So total revenue is price times quantity. The first thing I'll do is I will substitute the inverse demand in for P. We saw on the first slide that P was 400 minus 0.05Q. So that is what I'm substituting here in parentheses for P. And that is going to be all multiplied through by Q. So doing that multiplication then, Q times 400, we get 400Q. And then this last term here, minus 0.05Q squared. Let's get marginal revenue. We'll take the derivative of total revenue with respect to Q or output. The derivative of 400Q is 400. The derivative of minus 0.05Q squared is going to be minus 0.1Q. We bring down the 2 in front, so 2 times 0.05 is where this point 1 is coming from. And then we subtract 1 here from the exponent, just leaving Q raised to the power of 1 or Q. Uh, next thing we'll do is set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost in order to maximize profit. And doing that, setting our marginal revenue equation equal to our marginal cost that we stated was $20 in this example. Uh, solving for Q, I subtract 20 from both sides, so 0.1Q equals 380, dividing through by 0.1. The profit maximizing output level for this monopolist is 3,800 units. If we wanted to get the price, we would take this value for Q and plug it into the inverse demand. Doing that, the monopolist will charge a price of $210 per unit. Let's contrast that with the socially optimal output level. That occurs where price equals marginal cost, just like in perfect competition. So setting our price equation, or inverse demand equation, equal to marginal cost and solving for Q. Uh, subtracting 20 here from 400, this is where the 380 is coming from. And now dividing by 0.05, Q equals 7,600 units. That is a socially optimal output level. Uh, and the price that that would occur at would be a price of $20. Price equals marginal cost. All right, let's just look at this graphically here briefly. So I graph the inverse demand, the demand curve facing the monopolist, vertical intercept of 400, horizontal intercept of 8,000. Here is our constant marginal cost, just a horizontal line at $20. The first thing we did was find where marginal revenue intersects marginal cost. Okay, that would be right about here. And we called that 3,800 units. Then we took that 3,800 units and we walked up to the demand curve or plugged it into the demand curve. And we found that the price was $210. So that is the monopolist output, just where MC equals MR. The socially optimal output level just occurs where marginal cost intersects the demand curve or the price line, and that was 7,600 units roughly right here. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.